Welcome to Around the Dog World on our annual Royal Stopover. From thousands entered here this weekend, we'll finish with just one as best in show at Windsor Championship Dog Show. We're sitting on the banks of the Thames, there's a castle nearby and it's sunny, it has to be Windsor. Um, usually about now, we check up on the latest best in show winners, but there aren't any since our last programme at Blackpool. But what we do have to do is take a look at the top dog top 10. And sitting at the head still is the Border Terrier champion Brackenfell Bach to Bach, followed by the Toy Poodle Star, with three toy dogs rounding out the rest of the top five. Two Chihuahuas, the Long Coat Jeffrey and Smooth Coat Misty, just ahead of Travis the Papillon. Bart the Alaskan Malamute is now in sixth, followed by another from the working group, the Bernie's Mountain Dog. Martha the Norfolk Terrier lies eighth, Juicy the Pointer ninth, with Ricky the Irish Terrier rounding out our current top 10. At Blackpool, we saw our 11th best in show winner from just 11 all breed shows. So the field is remarkably open this year. So we might even have a new top dog leader by the end of this weekend, who knows. But first, it's the utility group, judged by Jackie Kitchener. So, Jackie's asking the Akita to move again. So this is the best of breed winning Akita. One more time, please, for number 976. The best of breed winning Bulldog, 1154. And round he goes, the best of breed winning German Spitz Klein, 1401. Lisa Moyes had a good day. This is her second breed, also shortlisted the Japanese Spitz. Another male, 1488. The best of breed with it, Japanese Shiba Inu. The best of breed winners in the Terrier group, can you make your way to the collecting ring immediately, please? The best of breed winning miniature schnauzer. Now it's the turn of the standard poodle. Nicola Garbutt sends us the standard poodle through. This is the female 1722. And the last one this shortlist is David Roberts' selection, the Zarpe. So both his breed making it to the shortlist. This is the bitch number 1840. And the winner of the utility group, Windsor 2015, is... The German Spitz Klein, 1401. Second in the utility group, runner up, goes to the Zarpe, number 1840. Third, the Standard Poodle, 1722. And group four, the Bulldog, 1154. Well, congratulations, Steve. You and Emil have won his first ever group. Must yeah. be incredible. Uh, it's a bit of a shock, really, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> For a, a German Spitz, you don't often see them winning no, a group, eh? No, no. Shortlisted. We think if we get it shortlisted, we've done well because it, with it being a minority group, etc., it's just it's just brilliant, to be honest. And, but but he's done lots of winning before today's group, hasn't he? Yes, he's had 28 CCs. Fantastic. Uh, I think it's 15 or 16 reserve CCs, and he's, uh, and I say I've retired him from today. <laughs> Re regardless of what happened, I was going to retire him because he's, he's now seven years old. Well, he's not retired yet. He's got best in show on Sunday. Got best in show on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, so that means I've got to go back to Scotland and come back again. It's a bit of a distance, but surely worth it. It's worth it. Absolutely worth it. Yep. Yeah. Well, a massive congratulations. We'll see you and Emil on Sunday. Yes, you will. Okay. Thanks very much. Well, Jackie, congratulations on judging the utility group. How did you find it today? Very strong in quality, very nice. Um, a, a couple that I really liked just let themselves down at the last moment, which was a little bit disappointing. But uh, having said that, the, the last eight, I loved all of them. Really yeah. lovely quality. 
Um, and this this German Spitz, uh, you don't often see them winning groups, but but tell us what you thought. This one is exceptional to handle. It's got lovely substance and it's got fantastic conformation, the shoulder placement, upper arm and that sort of thing. And on the move, absolutely bang on straight. Um, <laughs> and very often with the Spitz breeds, you don't see that. And uh, yeah, just very beautiful, lovely expression, fabulous coat on it and showing its head off. So. Um, the Sharpe for you was second? Love that. Um, I have done that particular gentleman very well with a, a different one yes. previously, um, but I have to say I prefer this one. This oh, young, wow. like, yes, yes, she's really lovely, and I would say still to improve a little bit more yeah. even now, but uh, really lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, and uh, good luck for the German Spitz in Best Chief. Thank you very much. Set through to us by Sharon Ames, the best of breed winning Paddington Terrier. Set through by Mark Phillips, the best of breed winning ball terrier, the bitch number 217. The Cairn Terrier, number 323. Three. Kathy Green was our judge of Dandy Dumont's today. 385. Now this is Max King's selection in the wire here, Fox Terriers. Number 451. Selection of Cherry Howard, 584, the Norfolk Terrier, best of breed. Ronnie Irvin sent us the Scottish Terrier through. This is a bitch number 716. 910, the Welsh Terrier. So, David's moved them all one more time. One last look as we get the boards into place, please. So, the winner of the Terrier Group. Windsor 2015 is it's the Bedlington Terrier. <laughs> Runner-up second in the group is the Scottish Terrier. Third in the Terrier group goes to the Wirehead Fox Terrier. And fourth in the group is the Norfolk Terrier. Congratulations to those other four shortlisted terriers, well done. If I could now ask for the Bedlington Terrier, followed by the Scottish Terrier, the Whitehead Fox Terrier and the Norfolk Terrier, well done. Congratulations, Helena. You must be overwhelmed. You've come to one of the biggest shows in the UK, all the way from Russia, and you've, you've won it. It's incredible. Uh, yes, me very like your show. I'm second uh, time here, and second time my dog is a winner. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> and you must be even more happy. You've beaten a Crush Best and Show winner, yes. another Crush Group winner, and another Best and Show winner in there. <laughs> yes, I want, I hope, very, very well. Um, and you're you're coming back on Sunday for Best and Show? Yes, sure, I come back Sunday. Um, have you got a caravan somewhere closer than Russia to stay? Yes. 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 <laughs> well, a massive congratulations, and we'll see you on Sunday. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, David, in that Terrier group, you had a Crush Best and Show winner, a Crafts Group winner and another Best in Show winner and a, a Bedlington all the way from Russia was the one that stole your heart. Oh right, was it from Russia? Yeah. Uh, I just, as it came in the ring I just thought wow, you know, you get this feeling, this tingling and I, I just couldn't take my eyes off the Bedlington. I knew he'd got to be in the top four somewhere. Um, yeah. And as I say, Crafts Group winner, another Crafts Best in the Scotty. the Scotty was a group winner. The Wire Fox Terrier. A little bit, but I mean, she's so full of quality. She's just got the most beautiful Scotty head. She's just yeah. all Scotty. Yeah. You had those those beautiful four at the end, but what did you think of the overall quality? I thought the overall quality of the Terriers was one of the best I've seen for a long time. Um, and this was your first group, so you must have been pretty overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I was getting a little bit nervous today, <laughs> but yeah, I was looking forward to it. And to do it at a show like Windsor has got to be pretty special. This is just a prestigious show, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, <clears throat> what can you ask for? You know, quality dogs, 
Polly to show. It's just been a lovely day. Well, Di, a bit of a surprise with the Bedlington in the, the Terrier Group, an, an incredible win. Yeah, it, absolutely. Because we saw the Scotty, yeah. the Crofts Best in Show. <laughs> we know we know the wonderful wire, and frankly, we think well, we're looking for a third. But that Bedlington came in, brilliant presentation. David Winsley, of course, is a good old terrier man. I remember giving him Best in Show 30 years ago with a Celium. <laughs> um, what, a, what a fearless, brave judge he was. And you know, that Bedlington has travelled three days by car, night and day, to get to this show. The little brother won the dog ticket, and I'm so pleased for David Winsley to get a group like that. But the first one in tonight was the utility group, and an unusual winner again in a yeah. German Spitz Klein. Yeah, it's a top winner. I know the, the man well, Steve Wright, he's moved up to Scotland in retirement. He, he travels all this way to show, he's done a lot of winning that dog, puts it down beautifully, handles well. That was a nice win. Today felt like Crafts Revisited. We had two of this year's Crafts group winners coming back to the UK from Norway and Russia, both becoming champions. Yeah, but that's not so unusual because it's Windsor. I think there are probably as many overseas visitors always at Windsor as there are at Crafts. <laughs> you know, Windsor is such a popular show. It's, um, I, I would expect to see that sort of entry here. It was great to see a ring full of dogs like that. Now, Windsor always gets beautiful weather. Um, when you're showing dogs in weather like this, it's got to be keeping them cool has to be at the forefront of your mind. That's a very interesting point. The care these people take of their show dogs is quite stunning. You know they've got these, these keep you cool coats on or they've got little mats that are cool mats that they lay on. In, on their beds and cages they've got fans that keep air. I'm always impressed by dog people when, when it's hot, the way they look after their dogs. Uh, well, it was nice to see you, Di. Uh, hopefully we'll see you throughout the rest of the weekend. Yes, certainly. And come back after the break to watch the Working and Pastoral Group on day two of Windsor. Success really is preparation, meeting opportunity, and that, that's when it happens. <laughs> and as the spotlight hits the poodle, the poodle shakes. <laughs> and it looks like the atom bomb has gone off. You know, you may have the better dog, but without the preparation and without the, the groundwork behind the scenes, you know, really, it's you're just basically throwing your money out the window. And this Asawak comes in, and it goes around the ring once, and I think, oh my god, I'm going to wet my pants. I'm so excited. <laughs> it is my belief that a handler and a dog do a dance. Maybe he's a dog. But... So it's just figuring out what your dog responds to, and when she does it right, give her a cue. If you go to training class, use it as a place to train you, but don't feel like you have to take all that temperament out of your dogs so they don't put a foot wrong in the ring. Westminster's not a dog show, it's a TV show. If you're hanging out with people who are only happy with you when you're losing, then those people are not your friends. Be aware of who you're talking to and don't always take what they tell you as face value. Surround yourself by positive people who know what they're talking about, who are giving you good advice and helping you along this road to hopefully success. Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day two of Windsor Championship Dog Show. Windsor is one of the fan favourites. This is my daughter Isla, she's been here about two hours and it's already her favourite. Today is the working and pastoral group. First in the ring is the pastoral group, judged by Jeff Duffield. Australian Shepherd. Stella, Stella. Clark was the judge of the beardies today. She throws us through this bitch, number 3312. The Tavern. The 
This is the pitch, so three by Kay Morris, three, three, four, three. Sue Hewitt Chambers was the judge of the Bruins today. The best of breed winning dog, number 3843. The Polish Lowland Sheepdog, Tim Ball selection in the breed. This is a male, 3873. Now it's the turn of the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, sent through by Terry Monroe. The dog, 3889. The Shetland Sheepdog, 4079, choice of Marion Penroy. The last of the shortlisted dogs is the Pembrokeshire Welsh Corgi. The choice of Cush McNally. With the bitch number 4222. And as the pen moves back into place, we're going to bring the boards and the decision has been made, and the winner of the pastoral group is the Bearded Collie. <laughs> Runner-up is the Australian Shepherd. Third in the group is the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. And fourth in the group is the Polish Lonan. Congratulations to the third of the finalists, the pastoral group winner, the Bearded Collie. Well, Justine and Fame, we saw you winning the group at Crafts earlier on this year. This is her second group win. You must be excited. Yes, absolutely. I'm over the moon. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about Fame. Um, Fame's the ultimate show dog. The more you ask of her, the more she gives, and the bigger the ring, the more she goes. Like she just never puts her foot wrong. Jeff was being very thorough there. Were you, were you getting nervous towards the end? Yes, of course. <laughs> Doesn't everyone? <laughs> Um, she, she of course won the, the group at Crafts earlier on this year. What was that experience like in the big ring? Oh, absolutely amazing. I mean, it was just trying to take everything in at, at the time. Just such an experience, a once in a lifetime, yeah. really was. Um, and now you get to come back to win another Best in Show ring. You, you must be very excited about that as well. Yes, absolutely, yes. I think it'll be go home, have a big glass of wine tonight <laughs> and spend tomorrow relaxing in the sun. <laughs> she fame chills out. She likes the prestigious shows, doesn't she? Windsor and Crofts. Yes, well, she must do. <laughs> well, Jeff, your first group at Windsor, how do you think it went? Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. I had uh, some nice quality dogs here. I wasn't sport for choice. I thought, considering the humid conditions, they all stood up uh, very, very well. And you wanted to be thorough, you wanted to make sure you got the decision right, and in the end, it was the bearded collie for you? Oh, yes. Uh, I did the bearded collie well as a minor puppy, and it went through the best puppy in show, a big two-day show. I obviously followed her progress, and I think she's come on a ton. It's lovely. I uh, thought the movement on my final eight I was well pleased about. That's what you're looking for, movement and confirmation, yeah. plus that little bit of extra which your final four have got as ring presence, which yeah. you can't breed for. No. She's got it in abundance, it's lovely. Well handled, well presented, all adds up, doesn't it? First, first, not our dogs to move again. It's the Alaska Malamute, the choice of Sharon Lowe's. The Bouvier de Flandre. The Doberman. So three by Judith Bullshaw. The giant schnauzer, the choice in the breed of Karen Carroll. The new founder, judged in the breed by Gordon Cutts. And the Portuguese water dog. <laughs> it's the chance of the Rottweiler now, just by Joe Barnes in the green. Now it's the turn of the St Bernard.
And last but by no means least, the Siberian Husky. If we could have the boards in place, please. The winner of the working group goes to the Bouvier de Flandre. Well done to the Bouvier. Runner up and second in the group. The Portuguese water dog. Third in the group. What a popular choice. It's the Siberian Husky. Well done. And fourth in the group. It's the Alaskan Malamute. Well done. And well done to those other four shortlisted dogs. But huge congratulations to the Bouvier. I know you don't like this bit, but it must be great to win yet another group with Hector. Is that his third group? Fourth. Fourth, fourth group, yeah. His fourth group this year. And he's, he's now won a little bit of a roll. That's two in a row. Yes, he's only got made up today. He got his third ticket today. Four, four groups, but just three tickets. He's... Yes. <laughs> well, it doesn't often happen. It's the same with the Mavado, the, the, my previous one. He won 20 groups, but I think he only had eight tickets. Right. <laughs> wow. It happens in Bouvier's. Mo had a, a, a great career. Hector's now following in his footsteps, the best in show winner last time at Blackpool. Exactly. I mean, it's just unbelievable, really, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a fairy tale, really. So, um, but uh, Michael's doing a fantastic job, and um, long may it continue. He really is, and, he, and he's so young. Well, 19 months old, so... It must, it must be incredible to have a dog that young in a, in a breed like a Bouvier to, to be doing so much winning. Very much so, but he was a very mature puppy. Um, and his brother we ran on as well, um, who was quite immature. So he is uh, exceptional in the fact that he's very mature. <laughs> so. Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day three of Windsor Championship Dog Show 2015. A glorious day on the banks of the Thames, as you can see. And the group tonight, you might be able to tell, is the Gun Dogs. And quite well known for his English Springer Spaniels, the judge tonight, Richard Bolton. <laughs> The selection of Chris Atkinson, the best of breed winning on Hungarian Wirehead Vishla. Sent through by Marion Sargent, the best of breed winning Irish Red and White. Now it's the turn of the pointer. Adding a continental mix to proceedings, this was the choice of our Norwegian judge, Finn Thorson, the flat coated retriever. The best of breed winning Irish Water Spaniel. Tom Mather was our judge today for the American Cockers. The best of breed winning Welsh Springer Spaniel. Gordon Talbot was the breed judge. The best of breed winning Spanish Water Dog. Richard takes that last look along this line of superb best of breed winning gun dogs here. The winner of the gun dog group is the American Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> group two, the Spanish Water Dog. Third in the group goes to the Pointer. And fourth to the Flat Coated Retriever. Well done to those other shortlisted dogs, but huge congratulations to the American Cocker Spaniel. Congratulations to our fifth grand finalist, the American Cocker Spaniel. 
Well, massive congratulations, Hugo and Ricky. Tell us a little bit about a little bit about him. Uh, he is a top dog in France, uh, all breed, wow. and he wins the uh, Yokanuba World Challenge. So he will represent the French uh, at the final in December at uh, Amsterdam. Yeah. And uh, he is only two years old, so it's like a baby. Yeah. And he have lots of uh, titles and. We are happy about him. Um, he's travelled from France, but I understand he's he's not going home. No, he will stay uh, in uh, England with uh, Ivan. Fantastic. Um, and finishing off our first CC with a group win at one of the country's most prestigious shows. You must be very happy. I didn't. Ima I can't uh, imagine that. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if you want to step in, uh, the the dog's just won its first CC. Won its won its first group in the UK is a multi-champion you must be so excited to have this dog coming to live with you I know I gave him his first best in show in France when I judged wow <laughs> uh, so understandably you want you want him at home that's right um, I, I can only say a massive congratulations and we'll see you again tomorrow night thank you thank you very much Richard a massive congratulations on judging your first gun dog group what did you think of it very strong group really enjoyed it out of the nine that I shortlisted, I could have placed six or seven of them quite easily. And this American Cocker, travel all the way from France, clearly took your eye. Yeah, very nice dog, lovely to go over, so sound on the move, great condition, real good muscle for an American Cocker who was presented to a perfection. Last year's group winner at Windsor, Castro the Spanish Water Dog, was your group too? Yeah, really good dog. He's got that cheeky side to him, which is nice to see. He's not a robotic animal. He's got a bit of spirit, and he's so sound. Um, and Windsor must be a fantastic place to judge your first group. Yeah, it's, Windsor's been a real favourite of mine for many years, and it's an honour to judge the group. You, of course, have, have handled plenty of dogs in a group ring, but what was it like? What was the difference judging the group? Uh, before I started, a little bit nerve-wracking, <laughs> but once I got on my first dog, great, really enjoyed it, and it just seemed to go in two minutes. You want to do it again then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really good. Massive congratulations, thanks very much. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. Now, when they're made reasonably well and trained physically, like you would a gymnast, which is really all that dressage is, you end up with something that stays sound for a very great deal longer. What a fabulous walk. Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day four of a glorious Windsor Championship Dog Show 2015. We welcome back Di Johnson. Di, a, a lovely day to be, be in, in Home Park, isn't it? Lovely. And although it's sunny, we've got a bit of a breeze, which yep. is keeping it good for us and the dogs. So yes, it's a lovely day. <laughs> um, we, we have to recap on the last three group winners. Yes. Um, the third one to, to grab a place in the best ensuring was the Bearded Collie, Fame. We watched her win yes. the group at Craft yes, earlier this year. Yep, yep a quality exhibit. Bearded Collies are a lovely breed. They've got that distinctive, get they drop the head slightly, gives you that lovely top line. A lovely addition to the Best in Show lineup, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, second uh, is a dog on some wonderful form. Uh, last time out at Blackpool, we watched yeah. Hector the Bouvier yeah. winning Best in Show, and yeah. he's picked up another group here yeah. this weekend. And we've said it, he's a young dog, he's exciting, he's being shown by a young handler, full of enthusiasm. It's a pleasure to see them win. Yeah, um, and yesterday uh, was the Gundog Group, uh, judged by young Richard Bott. Yeah. Um, and this one, there was a lot of buzz around the American Cocker yeah. Ring. Yes. One best to breed there and went in yes, and won the group. Is. A lot of talk on the field today. The dog looked lovely. I mean, the top line, the movement. And Richard Bott is, a, a, in my opinion, one of our most promising young judges. His shortlist, actually, was wonderful. I, I really thought that gun dog group was worth watching. And every time we come to Windsor, we always talk about it being an international show. But this best in show lineup is looking very cosmopolitan. Start on day one, Terrier Group was a Russian. Bedlington. Bedlington yes. uh, German Spitz was an import. Um, Pastoral Group was won by French Beardy. Bouvier, I believe, has American blood. 
this American Cocker has come in from France. Are we going to get any Brits in the best in show? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I can see the potential for one more foreign dog, at yeah. least today. Um, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see, won't it? But who wouldn't come to Windsor to show? No. You know, everything is right for the exhibitor here, isn't it? Well, thank you, John. We'll speak to you tonight after the grand finale, best in show. But first is the Hound Group, judged by Jan Payne. First of the shortlisted dogs, the Persenji. <laughs> the Basset Griffon Gordia Petit. The Beagle. The miniature long haired Daxon. The miniature wire haired Daxon. And as far as we can see here, this is the lineup of the girls. All eight shortlisted dog of bitches. And it's the Greyhound. The Irish Wolfhound. And the Whippets. So if we can have the boards in place, please, on final look, and the winner of the Hound Group, Windsor 2015, is the Greyhound. And runner-up in the Hound Group is the Persenji. Third in the group, it's the Whippet. Fourth in the group, it's the Beagle. Congratulations to those other four shortlisted dogs, but huge congratulations to the Greyhound, our sixth finalist. But put your hands together for the Greyhound, our sixth finalist. Orga and Prudence, another group win in the UK. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> this time with a greyhound. Yes, we saw you on uh, on Thursday back with uh, Tupin uh, yes. in miniature poodles. You won best of breed, made yes. her up. Yes. This is a fantastic weekend. It couldn't be better. And this is Prudence's first visit to the UK. So what a start. Yeah, exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about her. She's five years old. She was top greyhound in Sweden two years ago. You know, she's an international champion, but it's uh, one that has been staying mostly at home. Yes. <laughs> yes. But now we decided that she is really in her prime. She's five years old and uh, we wanted to give it a try. And what a start. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have had a great result for both our dogs. And so far, we don't know what it will end with, but uh, with Prudence, uh, but, uh, we are thrilled. and. Uh, this is one of our favorite summer shows, and Espen Eng, who is one of her owners and is her breeder, yeah. this was the show he judged for the first time in the UK 25 years ago. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we are both very, very happy. And a very and lucky. I was here as well then, 25 years ago. And a lucky show. Very lucky show. Well, congratulations. See you in Best in Show. Yes, you will. Thank you. <laughs> well, Jan, you were the Hound Group judge tonight yes. at Windsor. Tell me a bit about this Greyhound. Well, I just thought she was stunning. As she came into the ring, I thought that something's got to beat her. They've really got to go some to beat her. And they couldn't. No. no, nothing to touch her, I didn't think. What about the group as a whole? What do you think? Yes, there were some very nice ones there. Um, some, you know, OK. But uh, no, there were, you know, a few that I could have quite happily, you know, have gone further. Uh, was this your first group? This is my first group, yes. To do it at Windsor as well? Well, absolutely. I judged my first wolfhounds here, yeah. <laughs> and it went straight through to Best in Show. So right. there we go, long time ago now. Uh, and now you've got a greyhound in Best in Show. Hope, hoping for more? So, I'm hoping for more. Yeah. Well, best of luck, and thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much.
choice of Liz Stannard in the breed. This is the Bichon Frise. Tim Ball's selection in Smooth Coat Chihuahuas. The choice of Jean Lanning in Chinese Crested. Samantha Dimmant's choice in the Japanese Chins. And the Maltese, sent through by Tom Mather. And that Oliver's choice in the miniature pinchers. The Pekingese sent to us by Winifred Mee. And a second dog sent through by Tim Ball, the Pomeranian. Very soon we'll know who the seventh finalist for Best in Show will be. The winner of the toy group, Windsor 2015, it's the Maltese. <laughs> Runner up, the Chinese Crested. The Smooth Coat Chihuahua takes third in the group. The Pomeranian in fourth place. Well done to those other four shortlisted dogs. Huge congratulations to our seventh finalist. Carolyn, your group winner today at Windsor was the Maltese. Tell us what you thought. I, I thought lovely, lovely pigmentation, lovely expression, beautiful texture coat and just put everything into showing, you know, really what typifies the Maltese for me. And you, you, you went through the group pretty quickly, but you, you looked decisive, you knew what you want, and, and in, in second place was the Crested. Yes, that's right. I thought maybe the Crested was going to win the group at one stage, but at the end, the, the outline wasn't quite there. But on the move, it looked absolutely stunning. And a smooth coach Chihuahua in, in third? Yes, um, I've given the Chihuahua a group before, right. and I still like him very much. I think he's lovely. Yeah. And just a few minutes, and best of luck for the Maltese and best in show. Thank you very much. Thank you. If uh, the new chairman were sat in the audience tonight, yes. What would you ask him? To care. I see myself as the judge that was banned. For Jane Lilly. It's finale time. From the first group, it's the German Spitz Klein. The Terrier group winner was the Bedlington Terrier. The Bouvier de Flandre. The Bearded Collie. Welcome to the American Cocker Spaniel. It's the Greyhound. And the toy group winner, welcome back to Maltese. So the first dog is ready for Jane's individual examination on the table. This is the German Spitz Klein. This is a male sent through to us by our group judge, Jackie Kitchener. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the winner of the utility group here at Windsor 2015, the German Spitz Klein. On the table now, we see the winner of the Terrier group. David Winsley was very excited to judge his first Terrier group here at Windsor on day one. The winner of the Terrier group, Windsor 2015, the Bedlington Terrier. 
Now, the working group was the second of the groups judged on day two. Our judge was Sue Hewitt Chambers, and she selected this male, Bouvier de Flandre. The winner of the working group, the Bouvier de Flandre. So, as I said, the judge of the pastoral group was Jeff Duffield, and he selected the Bearded Collie, number 3312. The Bearded Collie. Winner of the pastoral group here on day two. On the table now we see the American Cocker Spaniel. This is a male, number 5834, sent through by Richard Bott. The winner of our Gundor group, the American Cocker Spaniel. As you saw earlier on, this greyhound, and she topped 1,381 hounds shown here today. Our hound group winner, the greyhound. Carolyn Rowe did an excellent job for us in the toy group. The winner was the Maltese. The winner of the toy group, the Maltese. So what a cracking lineup for our judge, Jane Lilly. Here at Windsor 2015, we've had a superb entry, over 700 dogs up on previous year. Can we have the boards, please? Very soon we're going to know who the winner of Best in Show is at Windsor 2015. Our judge has made up her mind with the boards in place. The winner of Best in Show, Windsor 2015, is the Greyhound. <laughs> Reserve Best in Show goes to the Bearded Collie. Congratulations to the other five group winners, but huge congratulations to the Greyhound and the Beardy. <laughs> Winning through from day one, the Caton. The Terrier group winner for the puppies was the West Highland White Terrier, followed by the Doberman. The pastoral puppy group, the Australian Shepherd, number 31. Five, two. It was the Labrador that took the top spot in the Gundog group. The winner of the Hound group, the miniature smooth hair, the toy group winner, and the puppies was the Bichon Freezer. Paul is going to ask them to move one more time. Kazans were judged in the breed by Rick Claysby. This is a male, it's number 1518. Nicola Foster was our breed judge for the West Highland White Terriers, and this is a bitch number 919. Lily Paul Shaw was the judge of the Dobermans. This is a bitch number 2533. Tony Jackson was the judge of the Australian Shepherds. This is another bitch number 3152. Becky Hodge was the judge of the Labradors, and this is a male, 5630. Roy Wood judged the miniature smooth hair Daxons, this is a male, number 6912. And in the toy group, it was the Bichon Frise, judged in the breed by Liz Stanard, 7897, another dog. So that concludes final movement for these seven super puppies and really if he can't find a winner here he's only got himself to blame because he's the one who sent them through let's have those boards in i think paul has chosen very soon we will know who will be best puppy in show at windsor 2015. best puppy in show windsor 2015 goes to the labrador
Reserve Best Puppy in Show. It's the Doberman. Congratulations to those other puppy group winners, but huge congratulations to the Labrador and to the Doberman. Well, best in show at Windsor 2015 was Prudence, the Greyhound, Orga. Yes, what there a I win. am. <laughs> More win. <laughs> and best in show at Windsor, you know, fantastic. We're so proud. You've come to the two most British and two most prestigious shows over here and you've won two groups and a best in show. <laughs> yes, it's hard to believe, but it is actually true. <laughs> and what is Prudence like to handle? Prudence is quite easy, especially on the move, because she's so energetic and she really goes on. And uh, this is a trade that should be in the Greyhound. The energy, and after all, it's a, it's a sighthound. I think she did an excellent performance today, yes. Um, and Espen, you've watched Orga with a couple of dogs this year, <laughs> going to group wins and a couple, and now a best in show win. How do you feel? It was tremendous. You know, Windsor is an iconic show and uh, to win Best in Show is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. You, you have a long trip home, but you, you've got to be... Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and Who cares? Espen, <laughs> you know? Espen is wearing a bow tie because he was supposed to show her today. Right. I am <laughs> casual, <laughs> yes, but he chickened out for, before the breed judging started. Luckily. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you get better out of her? <laughs> If I get better out of her, do, do you do you make her move? She's probably a little bit more attached to me, so you yeah. know, who knows? You need luck in this game as well. It's oh, not that's what it was. You were just lucky, was it? It's, oh. not, it's not just about 40 years of breeding. You need the luck as well, yeah. you know. And judges who can see all her qualities and virtues and uh, appreciate them. And and Espen, what would you call her her qualities? The essence of the breed, which is the um, the proportions, the shape, and the combination of substance and elegance. And she's a really, really good mover, and that's what this breed is about. Well, a massive congratulations, gentlemen. You'll be flying home tomorrow, mate. Thank you very much. Thank well you very done, much. Prudence. Thank you. And we'll head over now. We've got to find Best in Show judge and Di Johnson, get a little bit of feedback on all the action tonight. She's, she's standing here. We're going to have to interrupt. Sorry, Jane, we have to interrupt you. Um, no. <laughs> That greyhound, Prudence, tell me what you thought of it. It was just wonderful. It won very, very easily. It was just the most beautiful dog in every single way. It wasn't over-exaggerated. It was just a glorious, glorious dog and just as good to go over and extremely fit, which is, of course, vital. Yes. Had a good mouth, a beautiful head and just a wonderful dog. Everything about it, is it? Everything about it. I just thought it was... Gorgeous. And to, to judge best in show at Windsor, one of the country's most prestigious shows, that must be an honour. Oh wow, yes, it's my it's my third best in show. And this time nothing went wrong like all the both the other times. I had rather dramatic um, <laughs> wardrobe functions, is all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much, Jane. Now we have one more thing to do. It is of course speak to Di Johnson. Bit of a loop, sorry. And we're gonna have to interrupt again. Yeah. Di the greyhound loved it loved it the minute it came in i just thought it was teeming with quality it just a classy classy dog didn't you love it i, I thought it was fantastic it was the woman's first hound group congratulations to her because the whole group was nice wasn't it jane lily's a very experienced judge lovely end for the show the, the labrador the the best puppy yes one for the future lovely labrador yes certainly i would think so and he's all dog isn't he and just the right amount of puppy playing you know <laughs> did his job moved soundly but just had a little play at the right time now lovely but uh, I, uh, why am I impressed when judges get it right? They ought to get it right. <laughs> That's but, what they're there for. Yeah, <laughs> but you still are impressed when they get it right. Um, and we, we spoke at the beginning of the programme about 12 consecutive first-time Best in Show winners. Lucky 13. We're still, still, still first-time Best in Show winners. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm, I'm not unhappy about it, Simon. The same person shouldn't win all the time. I know if they've got the best dog, they should. But it's still nice to see it shared out a bit. Um, no, I'm, I'm very happy with the, the, the show, the whole thing. Well, thank you very much, Di. We'll see you next time at City of Birmingham? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we see you again at City of Birmingham as well. Congratulations to Prudence, Orge, Espen, all the owners, all the winners this weekend, and we'll see you next time on Around the Dog World. <laughs>